job. Yeah. So it pays for the whole thing. So it really pays for it. So I think it'll be good. And coming up, more of my exclusive interview with President Trump. Now, he'll weigh in on the NFL kneeling controversy. He'll explain what he thinks the league should have done with Colin Kaepernick. And that and more is straight ahead. Welcome back to Hannity. Now, earlier today, I interviewed President Trump at the 193rd Special Operations Wing at the Air National Guard Base in Middletown, Pennsylvania. Now, here's part two of that exclusive interview. Take a look. A lot of people, I was surprised watching all last year with Colin Kaepernick. Guy praised a murdering thug dictator. He had socks that depicted yeah. cops as pigs. Yeah. And, and other issues, he actually donated to a charity that actually supported a cop killer. And then we saw the NFL. And you took it on, it appears, based on the letter that Roger Goodell put out yesterday, that Donald Trump initiated a debate over standing for the flag and our anthem and those that fought, bled, and died, and looks like you won. So I watched Colin Kaepernick, and I thought it was terrible. And then it got bigger and bigger and started mushrooming. And frankly, the NFL should have suspended him for one game, and he would have never done it again. They could have then suspended him for two games. And they could have suspended him if he did it a third time for the season, and you would never have had a problem. But I will tell you, you cannot disrespect our country, our flag, our anthem. You cannot do that. Obviously, the people of the country are with you. Hundreds of thousands of people fought, bled. Hundreds of thousands died fighting under that flag. Right. Um, when you look at the Obama years, Chicago, one city, his adopted hometown, 3,900 people were murdered. In the last six years of Obama's presidency, 18,000 shootings. I don't think he hard mentioned it, but three or four times. Yeah, it's hard to believe. And disproportionately, his economic policies hurt black Americans, Hispanic Americans right. more. That's very sad. How will your policies help minorities that are still struggling? Well, first of all, minorities want police protection more than anybody. They need it more than anybody. It's what's going on is crazy. And you look at some of these inner cities where it's just out of control. And remember, I was saying things like, we will, you know, what do you have to lose? We will fix it. We're going to fix it. But one of the things we're doing very strongly now is the inner cities. Now, Chicago is out of control. I don't know what they're doing in Chicago to have this many shootings and this many killings and all of the different things that are going on. This is not like it's the United States of America. And pure and simple, that's bad management. That's bad politics. It's incredible. And then you talk to them. Why aren't you doing something? They don't even want to talk to you about it. It's, it's really insulting to our nation. And whether you take on the NFL or you take on Chicago and some of our other cities, there shouldn't be murders like this. And you know, we have incredible police in this country. They could stop it if they were allowed to do their job. They could stop it. Thank you. Well, Sean. In many cases, it's the police are not allowed to do their job. They have to be politically correct. We're talking about lives of wonderful people. And they have to be allowed to do their job. And you will see it stop. I'll never forget, I was in Chicago. And a police officer, there was a motorcycle deal to the plane. And I was talking to the police. I was taking a picture. I said, how do you stop this? We could stop it immediately, sir. I said, what do you mean you can stop it immediately? If they'd let us do our job, we could stop it immediately. Now, at some point, you're going to have to let them do their job. And they want to do their job. That's the incredible thing. We did it on the border. The border was like a sieve. Now it's down 78 <laughs> percent. And that's without the wall. Wait until you see what happens when we build the wall. But, but General Kelly has done an incredible job. These are people, they know how to do it, but they have to be allowed to do it. You look at the difference in the border. You saw though. Rudy incredible. Giuliani in right. New York. Rudy did a fantastic job in New York, and Ru that's an example. And Rudy was on our campaign, and when Rudy endorsed me, to me, that was a very important endorsement, because he did a great job, especially with respect, well, you could also say economic development, but especially with respect to crime in New York City. We watched a lot of high-profile incidents during the Obama years. Uh, Ferguson, Trayvon Martin down in Florida, Freddie Gray. He called the, as he said, the Cambridge Police Act. That stupidly, it seems every two or four years, and I've been.